Hi, my name is Eric Saylor, speech language pathologist and assistive technology specialist for Parkway Middle School and La Mesa Spring Valley School District. My proposal is titled Interactive Applications for Special Education, Wiimote Whiteboards and iPod Touches. When I was thinking about writing a proposal for the Innovation in Education Award, I first thought about the need for technology at Parkway Middle. We don't have a single interactive whiteboard being used in a classroom here or at any other classroom within our district. Nor do we have any other kind of interactive technology such as iPod Touches being used within the classroom. I also thought about the need in special ed, since that's the world that I live in. As a speech language pathologist, I work with students who have special needs um, and they have difficulties such as reading the text off of a page, um, but there are certain accessibility features like text-to-speech within interactive websites that can be used with the Wiimote whiteboard. Um, uh, plus, the special ed students typically get uh, interactive technology or get technologies last at a school site which I don't think is right at all so um, taking these needs together I thought that it would be worthwhile to fund uh, to write a grant to fund Wiimote whiteboards for um, four special ed caseloads here at Parkway including mine and since I already have a Wiimote whiteboard um, there would be three setups that would be given to the special ed teachers and also there would be a classroom set of iPod touches that we could all share um, through a lending library. Um, and this would enable our students to access mobile apps and interactive websites creating a truly 21st century learning environment and frankly we're not doing such a great job of providing 21st century tools to our students. As Chris Deed recently asked in a um, presentation, how do we handle the fact that uh, within academic settings it looks less like 21st century work and play than what happens outside of academic settings? His response was the use of Web 2.0 resources, including wikis, podcasts, blogs, social networking, and the like. I totally agree with that in addition to Wiimote whiteboards and iPod touches. Um, because what I see going into classes, uh, a lot of times there's a teacher who's lecturing and students are listening passively. Maybe every once in a while, they'll write something down with uh, a pencil and paper. Um, but that's, that's not the world that we live in today. And I've seen, for the last six months, I've been using Wiimote Whiteboard, the Wiimote Whiteboard and iPod Touches with my students in small speech group lessons and also when going into special ed classes and doing group lessons. The students are just so excited to use the technology. Uh, and the good thing about that is that their uh, learning increases while their behaviors decrease, which honestly is every special ed teacher's uh, dream. We want our students to learn more and act out less. So let me go ahead and show a video demonstration of students who are using these technologies. I'll just go ahead and preface the video by saying that in the first clip, there is a student who, who is using a free uh, virtual world called EduSim on the Wiimote whiteboard and he is uh, manipulating some text and reading it within a virtual world. The second video clip shows a student who is using a communication app to um, make requests in a game that he's playing. So let me go ahead and show the video. Hi, I'm Eric Saylor, speech language pathologist. And today we're going to demonstrate educational applications with the Wemo whiteboard.
have to go home. Okay, now go down to spaces. Okay, spaces. and let me go ahead and get our game all ready for us. Okay, so we got monkey diving here, and now you need to go into the games part. Games? Okay, press monkey diving. Monkey diving. Okay, and you're going to tell me which monkey to touch. Okay, so, oh, you need to tell me. So tell me first, and I'll touch. Okay, so you could say, touch purple monkey. Touch.